it seems there's an invitation for an invitation to smash. I knew it. No, sir. It seems Xanderwood is issuing a challenge to devs out there. Oh. Well, send him a message. Hello, my name is Ghostbit, and I possess pixels to do my bidding. And I saw that Xanderwood was issuing a very interesting challenge where he wanted developers from different game engines to remake his games. And then he would do the same with your game. This sounded interesting and fun, so I participated. Off the bat, I went and chose my favorite game from Xanderwoods, Android Negotiator. I won't go into details into this game, link to the devlog to this video is down below in the description. This game's art style and type of game is one of my favorites from him, and I wanted to take this game and see what I can do with it. Originally, I planned on making a very detailed art game, pushing my limits on what I can do in pixel art, all while making a more harder way to solve the puzzles to defuse the bomb. Unfortunately, I realized how insane it was for me to accept this challenge from Xander. I was very busy and had a lot of things to do and a lot of projects to finish. But I didn't want to let Xander Woods down, so I just dialed my expectations of this project down by a lot. I kept the art very simple and went straight to making the dialogue system. I've messed with different ways to implement a dialogue system, but seeing as how I wasn't taking this project seriously anymore, I decided to try out a plugin. Enter Dialogic. You see, I've had a, my eye on this plugin for a while, and I finally found time to truly test out on this small project. After watching some tutorials on how to use it by Emilio, I dove right in and I can say, oh my god, what a great plugin. Seriously, this dialogue system is fantastic. It cuts the work of making one in half, and it's so simple and easy to follow. So basically, after installing it, I was able to make a character that will be talking and color coding their names. You can also add images as well to display visually who is talking, but I skipped all that. Next comes the themes, which are like how you want your text to appear and the size of the boxes and the padding. Tons of options here, so I felt very impressed by what I can do on here. Finally comes the timeline. This is the meat to all this delicious sandwich. On here, you can add text events and make branching decisions to even set up a signal anywhere you want to set up an event after the dialogue is over, and many more. Seriously, I'm very impressed with how easy it was to set up the dialogue by using this plugin. Take it from someone who's done dialogue system before, this saved me tons of time. I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here, but I just covered basic, the stuff I basically used for the game. Once I had the dialogue in, it was time to plug in my art and head over to lighting. With the lighting done, I finally got to filling out all the choices for the game. Honestly, I was done with this project at this point, and like I said, I had tons of other projects to work on. So I decided, you know what, let's have some fun with this, and decided instead to make the Android Negotiator drunk. This gave me a last extra boost to finish this project off. Honestly, I had fun remaking Android Negotiator to Drunken Android Negotiator. The dialogue had me chuckling, honestly. The game is down below, and you can play it now. It's just supposed to be a silly game that doesn't take itself too seriously, so please keep that in mind when playing. I want to thank Xanderwood for letting me participate on this great challenge. This is Ghostbit and I'll see you on the next adventure.